Mad and travertine marble that was quarried outside Rome and shipped halfway around the world. And that's only one facet of that project I could tell you stories about. So Christopher Williams says that the world we know is a whole and all its parts respond to the same earthly laws. All substance about us has the same physiochemical basis. All particles of matter are molded by the same physical laws. The structural unity is the same. So the environment bookends everything. It bookends everything. So our wrong-headed notion about form, I think, is that we forget that basic law. The universal cycle from which no form is exempt. Birth, maturation, and aging, death, and decay. So I was, I was uh, lecturing last night in Cami and Diane's class. And I was like, you know, we kind of know that we are subject to that. Because you get up in the morning and you look in the mirror and you go, wow, that wasn't there yesterday. That wrinkle wasn't there. So we kind of witness our own return to the nutrient pool. But I don't think we think about it in terms of what we make. This is on a journey to the nutrient pool right now. But it's happening so slowly, we don't think about that. We don't see this as process in time. We see it as a static form. So my point is, what if designers had to think about form as process in time in the design brief as they're designing? Because, oh, it's a thing. It's kind of ugly. Looks worse as it gets older. <laughs> we don't know how to design so that things look better with age. And in fact, we're in denial about age altogether. You know, all I have to do is go to the newsstand and look at all of these women who were born the same year as I am, and they're airbrushed to perfection. I am 